First on Fox, a woman abducted in Clayton this morning is found shot to death in St. Louis City as family members dodge bullets trying to save her. Tonight, friends say the victim, a 37-year-old mother, had worked her way into a vice president's role for a local tool company. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live downtown tonight with more on where that investigation stands. Jeff? Yeah, Mandy, we're here just in case there are any new developments. Uh, we know that the uh, police department tells us they're still waiting for a medical examiner's report to be completed. Family members tell us uh, the victim abducted while leaving her apartment in Clayton this morning and then hours later, police responding to the homicide investigation in an alley in the city of St. Louis. Michelle Hampton's nephews say they witnessed her abduction. Along with their mother, they followed the suspects from Clayton to the city of St. Louis, where they say one of the suspects fired a gunshot at them. And the dude, he uh, he uh, raises his handgun and shoots uh, one time. The bullet, if you would come here, the bullet flies past his face and my mama's face because she's in the driver. And then they speed off and then we have no tracking her because they threw her phone out the window. Hours after the abduction in Clayton, St. Louis police were on the scene of a homicide on Greer. Police say the victim appears to be the woman who was abducted. Hampton worked at Beaver Industrial Supplies, a tool company where co-workers say she began in customer service and became a vice president. She didn't deserve this at all. I mean, there, we were at a loss on who would even want to do this to her because she she helps everybody that needs it. Even even if she doesn't have it, she finds some way. Hayden says her coworker was the mother of a teenager and treated everyone like family. We would go out to you know restaurants or anywhere else, and she'd always know somebody, and they're always just like super excited to see her. Like she's she's just a great person. The detectives are still trying to piece together exactly what happened. They're combing through a video from a real time crime center. I really want them just brought to justice like they can't get away with it. So I just want them to be caught. And tonight Clayton police tell us that they believe that the victim was specifically targeted in this case and believe there is no longer a threat in Clayton. St. Louis police sharing that same message here tonight. They also want to hear from anyone who has information about what happened. You can contact Crime Stoppers or the Homicide Division here at the St. Louis Police Department. Reporting live downtown, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.